Welcome to another Idle Engineer Seasonal Special. In this video, we make a motion-activated scarecrow. As a kid, I always wanted a really great Halloween decoration that was motion-activated, like the big fancy ones you'll see for over $300. As an adult, I still don't have over $300, so I set out to build one at minimal cost. This one out of pocket was less than 20 bucks, but most of it came from stuff we had lying around. I found some unused clothes that worked for the look I wanted and set out stuffing them with straw, which I found at our local farm store. Tying the ends of the pants shut first helped with ease of stuffing. My overall goal with this scarecrow was to create a decoration that was cute and approachable, then turn scary when you got close. I stuffed straw in all over inside the shirt and the arms until I got it to look the way I wanted it to. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I got the body stuffed to my satisfaction. Next I installed two 2x2s two two screwed together with deck screws into a T to act like a hanger. I then screwed that hanger to a 6 foot old closet clothes rod so he could stand up. The head is made of burlap, straw, and around 4 feet of half inch inside diameter PVC pipe. I bunched up the bottom and tied it with string, then stuffed it until it looked like a lollipop. I left the top loosely tied at this point until the electronics were installed. I cut a hole in the back of the shirt to accept the PVC and installed the head. With pointy hat, he stands at around 7 feet tall. Using black yarn and a big plastic needle, I sewed on a poorly stitched smile. My goal here was for the face to look either dopey or creepy, depending on what the eyes were doing. He stands proud, waiting for his electronics. The eyes are made of RGB, or red, green, blue LEDs, meaning they can be programmed to take on any color. These LEDs we purchased a few years ago and came disassembled. So here, Chuck is surface soldering the LEDs with microcontroller to a PCB. Now you can purchase NeoPixels from Adafruit that you can cut to shorter lengths or keep in longer strips, so go check them out. Adafruit is also a great source for tutorials on Arduino if you're new to prototyping. We are not sponsored, they are just that awesome. This piece of cardboard will be the mounting plate for the LEDs. The eyes are programmed as follows. When the sensor is not detecting motion, there are just two LEDs on that are purple. When the sensor is detecting motion, all eight LEDs turn on as red angry lines. Chuck then transferred the LEDs from the breadboard to the cardboard mounting plate one at a time, hot gluing them all into place and then rewiring. He also soldered a bus of positive and negative leads to power each LED individually, since these wouldn't daisy chain. This is because all the power was in parallel, but the data signal to control the color was in series. Chuck thought he could wire them all in series, but that was not correct. The LEDs weren't working correctly, and we figured out it was because Chuck changed his wiring scheme as he transferred from the breadboard to the backing cardboard, which we definitely do not recommend. After everything was put together, he re-uploaded the code and tested. Success! I disassembled the head enough to install the electronics. I had planned on having a motor attached to this as well, something that could either rattle or make noise that could add to the scariness in the dark. Unfortunately, this was a tiny 5 volt motor that just didn't have enough juice to do what we wanted. The battery pack was stowed in his neck and the motion sensor just near the top of the collar. After checking that it all still worked, I tied up the ends and sewed up the side of his head. Testing time! I think he looks awesome even in broad daylight. Even though the motor didn't end up working, I think a pair of evil eyes in the dark is pretty freaky. Overall I love this project and look forward to upgrading him next year. Thanks for watching our video! Follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with new video uploads and fun projects.